Hello. Today we're going to go over how you can get some mad air in this game. <laughs> and why would you want to get some mad air in this game, we may ask? Well, I mean, just look how we can barely make that jump right there. Alright, so this will increase your ability to jump further. Uh, so you can get to higher places and potentially uh, makes it easier to dodge certain boss attacks. Alright, on top of this, not only will we get air, we're going to be able to double jump. Because as Deadpool would say, beep, logic, right? <laughs> so here we go. Couple things you'll need. All right, you're gonna need this drink called the Stardust Energy Drink, and you're gonna need the Spring Legs. And on top of what we're showing you today, you're also gonna be able to get some nice universal bait, which allows you to catch fish at pretty much no cost to you, and you'll get a lot more faster than you will uh, buying it or making that fish bait on your own. All right, so remember our jump from before? Check this out. <laughs> yeah, we're getting some air now, aren't we? And then of course, we can get double air. All right, so here we go with the extra jump height. As you can see, we get a lot more air, and then we can double jump. Um, you need to be careful because you will actually injure yourself doing this. So make sure to activate your uh, bird before you hit the ground. But this will allow you to do uh, some cool little tricks in combat, uh, allow you to fight some bosses a little bit easier. And if you're in PvP, you might even be able to get an advantage when jumping around. Just be careful about how you're landing so you don't break your feet like that. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be at a major disadvantage for just a few seconds. So how do you get the ability to jump higher? Well, you just simply got to find a frog, and it's um, that's pretty much it. You find the frog, you get the ability to double jump, and we'll show you where to get that frog here in a moment. And then for the, sorry, not double jump, a <laughs> long jump. And then for the double jump, you just need to make that uh, energy drink. So I'll show you how to make the energy drink, all the ingredients you'll need. It's really not too bad. All right, for this deviation, you're going to want to go down to uh, bodies of water that have lily pads in them and look for them. Uh, I'll go ahead and we will show you these specific locations you can find this deviation in. And then you've got to look, it's really, you got to look really careful. Uh, so as you can see, this guy over there, really small. So now we got to make our way around the water to him or we can swim through the water. Probably the fastest way. So we'll go ahead and swim through the water to get to him. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you once we've grabbed the deviation so we don't miss out on it like we'd be. Uh, <laughs> we'll show you uh, where to get these guys. So this is Frog the Leaper. I see this little, these are the lily pads here, right? So if you come across these in any water source, this is where Frog the Leaper spawns. And I'll show you a couple of water sources I know about where you can get them. There we go, we attained Frog the Leaper. So here we are at this one, skill rating one, activity rating two, um, no deviation traits, so you may want to keep redoing this until you have one that you really like. But for the most part, I don't think those are gonna be important with Frog the Leaper since he produces um, items that we need. Alright, so again, real quick, these lily pads look like this. You find these, that's where it's gonna spawn. Alright, and we'll go ahead and pull up the map, and I'll show you on these maps where Frog the Leaper has uh, been found out that I know of. If you know of any other locations where Frog the Leaper has been found, just let us know in the comments below. And the spot I like to look for him is this pond right here, which we've showed you on the map, but I'll go ahead and show you again. It's this pond here, next to this teleport tower. And why? Because it's next to a teleport tower. <laughs> right? Uh, if you don't know, you can shift worlds. Uh, so if we don't, if you didn't find Frog the Leaper when you came to look, or you didn't find one that you liked, you can go back up to the uh, teleporter right next to the pond. So, I mean, it's just right here. And you can uh, shift worlds. So you can do this really fast and go through all 10 of your worlds. And personally, if my world didn't have what I was looking for, when I go to switch worlds, I like to just start at number one and work my way down. That way I don't... Uh, miss out. Alright, the switch is almost seamless. I think the time may be a little different in this world. It's got a little brighter. And we can go look. You have to get a little bit closer to uh, Frog the Leaper. You can't just see it from the teleport tower to make sure it's actually there. The uh, Otherwise, it might not render in properly. So but yeah, it doesn't look like Frog the Leaper is here. Let's land and make sure. Okay, yeah, it would have rendered in by now. So Frog the Leaper is not on World 1. And you basically rinse repeat that all through 10 worlds until you find them. Um, if you didn't find them at this location going through 10 worlds, you can wait a couple hours and try again. Or you can uh, head over to one of the other locations and start cycling through the worlds on those locations as well. All right, and another thing to point out with these lily pads, if you jump on them, you start on, so you start here, this one with a bunch of lily pads, and jump this direction. It may work both directions, I'm not sure, but this is the way I did it. And jump this way, and then land on this one, and then boom, a chest appears. Alright, so we can get one of the 
these chests like this with the energy links, um, a grip, and a controller in it. So those may be it may not be a grip for you, maybe something different depending on how random these are. So when I switched into world nine, there's a frog in this world. Um, so all the way through nine before I found another one. As you can see, we can't see it from up here, unfortunately. Which means we can't just hop around on the portal and just move back and forth. We have to go down the hill, which means we have to run back up the hill, unfortunately. As you see, we have to get pretty close. We have to get about here, right, before the frog appears. And then once it's produced, the two materials it produces, we'll show you how these work. Um, but we'll go ahead and go over one is Silver Spring. When squeezed, it loosens and releases energy greater than what's required to compress it. And then this basically will allow us to make spring legs, which will increase our jump height. It does cost extra stamina, um, but we can jump much higher now. Combine that with our energy drink, let's double jump, and we'll do some amazing stuff, which we'll show you shortly. And then Universal Bait, you use it to catch fish. Uh, it, supposedly it works better than the bait you can make in the game, and this will also keep you from having to buy bait. One thing to note, jumping higher, it does burn more stamina. Alright, at the stove, if you see um, Stardust Energy Drink, it's pretty simple to make. You just need saffron, purified water, sugar, and aluminum ingots. To make sugar, you need beets. Uh, so when you find the beets, make sure you're keeping your beet seeds, because you're going to want to grow those beets and turn them into sugar. But, and also you're going to need aluminum, so this is something you're not going to be able to do right away at the end of the game. You're, you're, it's also a legendary recipe, right? You're going to find, um, you have to find this, and then you'll have to collect all these ingredients. Uh, so this is closer to the end game, kind of. Ability for the double jump. The long jump can be done at any time you find the frog. Alright, and so if you need to make sugar and you know where beets are, uh, one of the easiest places to get beets is going to be, you know, anywhere you find them, but uh, one of the easiest places is going to be at Myers Market along this river here. Just run around in here and collect beets. You'll get some beet seeds. I can bring them back and plant them, and you can use the fertilizer to get you more seeds to multiply your beets so you can really get a sugar farm going. So over in the Chalk Peaks, which is going to be a near Tallgrass Inn, and just north and east of Tallgrass Inn is a town called Holt Town. Um, if I zoom out a little bit here, you can see kind of this is the starting area. This is uh, Greywater Camp, Myers Markets like down here. So this here is Holt Town. Right, and then once you're in Holt Town, there's a little cafe right here. You just go in that cafe and your energy drink recipe is right there. But you, then you can just come over to the Advanced Supplies Workbench or Supplies Workbench, whatever you have. Spring Legs is there. And it just requires, of course, acid, like everything else in the game, <laughs> and some glass. Right, because we're storing it in the glass bottle. And then you can just craft. This takes about eight springs to do it.